I know you have a few other questions, William. Well, uh, after, after hearing all of these things, um, I just wanted to say, first of all, that with these understandings, it opens up new horizons of experience and possibilities of, of new futures for us. Um, coming out of very uh, dogmatic understandings, there's, uh, I, I understand the very limited mind and the very limited uh, vision that we have. Um, so I just wanted to ask, for if you were to uh, speak to the people that are waking up from these dogmatic paradigms, um, what would be a message you would have for them uh, to hold on to that that light and continue on their on their journey into this understanding? Very good question. Well, you know, we've gone back and looked at the Sanskrit tradition, the Hebrew tradition, the Christian, Bible, yeah, you know, the Bible, and you know, all these things. You don't really have to completely throw them out because the essence behind it, not the dogma, but the essence that there is higher intelligence, that there are angelic messengers, that there is a transformational process. I mean, we're going this year to see the cloth of Turin. Maybe people don't know what this is. This is a cloth that they think put, was put around Jesus at the time of death. Now, what it shows is something that quantum physicists and physicists are starting to understand, that you can go from light to matter, look at Genesis, so to speak, back from matter to light. New Testament. What does this mean? It means Jesus took his physical body, matter body, and made it back into light. This is not impossible. This is Star Trek maybe a little bit, but quantum physicists are starting to tell us that you can actually teleportate yourself somewhere else. You can dematerialize and rematerialize. Now, they don't do it for people yet, but we do feel that higher intelligence has the ability to do this. So you don't have to throw out the whole essence of the past. You can throw out a lot of the dogma, there's no doubt. But there's a lot to be said that helps us in the future. The dogma is based upon the Word of God, and as a linguist and researcher in ancient biblical texts, in addition to being in science, I have retranslated portions of the Bible to show, as Jesus himself said, greater things than these he can do, for I go to the Father. So if we look at the miracles of the New Testament, or even the Old Testament, and realize the use of the divine names of God or spiritual language to heal, there's great incentives to see that there's a higher psychology a higher sociology, a higher paraphysics in the Word of God. In fact, it can be said that the whole scripture is based upon those people who have these great gifts for miracles. But a lot not, of the, not for themselves, yeah. but for humanity. And that's the bottom line, is yeah. to use the what we call the gifts of the Holy Spirit, use the powers of the greater uh, mind of the universe to help all humanity and not to block it by a particular theological point, but to see a teaching that's ecumenical, a teaching that involves all believers in the divine spark. But